Namaste. Welcome today. This is your weekly body, mind, spirit insight. Some direction for the week. Let's see what's going on, what we need to focus on. Today I'm using the Crystal Angel Oracle cards. So let's see what the week holds for all of us. I'm super excited. How did your last week go? I hope it was great. Mine was. Look at one of the cards popped out. So we're going to put that one there. And then we're going to choose the other two cards for this week. And then we've got this one. All right. So. We have body, mind, and spirit. So let's look at what our focus is going to be for this week. For And this is the next seven days. So whenever you watch this video, this is going to be your next seven days of energy, things to look at, to consider. So this is Angelite Spiritual Religious Community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So... Body, mind, spirit. So body, your body is craving connection with like-minded people. Your body needs that. So if you are going through some type of healing, some type of uh, body issues, maybe some body challenges, or you're not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with your body as maybe you want to start a new diet, maybe you want to get healthier, or maybe you just want to continue along your path and you're questioning, what do I need to do to do that, to continue in a healthy way. This is saying this next week is to connect with other spiritual people, connect with other people that are um, connected to your same vibration. So, and if you don't know where to go with that, open yourself up and just be like, okay, I'm ready. Like right now in this video, just be like, I'm ready to be connected to like-minded people in a spiritual community. And when you do that, that opens it up to the universe to draw it to you. So for your body, your physical needs this week, you're going to want to connect with spiritual and religious community, something that you are drawn to, whatever that means for you, just like-minded people that are about spiritual growth and in the spiritual community is going to help anything to do with your physical body right now. So there you go. All right. Mind. Let's see where our mental health is going this week. Solidite. Socializer join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. I am not lying. Look, these two cards are both about socialization and there is a bunch of cards here and this is what we are connecting with. <clears throat> so this isn't just you, it's me too. So what this is saying for your mind, your mental health as well. So it goes along with your physical body. You need to socialize and join into something. So maybe you've been feeling a little bit alone. Maybe you've been feeling like no one is connecting to you. Well, you have to get yourself out there. Get out there and connect to other people, like-minded people. And I feel that, I mean, if you're connecting with spiritual people already for your physical body, that's going to help your mental body as well. So this is basically saying that you need new friendships that are healthier. You need supportive people in your life. You need connections that have to do with like-minded, same vibrations. So if you feel like you're a bit alone, sometimes I feel quite alone because when my vibration raises, sometimes the people that are in my life don't resonate with that vibration anymore. So that means that new vibrations are coming to me. So if you're going to through a spiritual growth or any type of new changes, that's going to mean that your vibration raises and that some people in your life that used to resonate with that vibration just doesn't resonate anymore. And that's okay. Um, it does feel sad as a human, but that just means that new like-minded, higher vibrating people are going to come into your life. So again, this means Get out there and find a group to connect to, whether it's maybe you take a new class that you've been wanting to take. Maybe you ch check out a new church. 
Maybe just connect with people online. There are so many different ways these days that you can connect with people with the internet in a very positive, uplifting way. Um, so I highly suggest you just get out there and find what gravitates to you and who you gravitate toward. Okay. Like for me personally, I've been gravitating towards, it's called the Life Enrichment Center and it's in Flint, Michigan. And it's just a beautiful center and they're based uh, with love and light and just accept all people. And, um, I just love listening to their sermons on their YouTube channel. And I, I love going to their services when I can. And Reverend Stephanie is just amazing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm connecting to a spiritual community to help my physical and my mental health. And you can do Two, both cards are resonating in the same way, in the same direction for you this week. So you can do both of these with the same uh, activity. So that's exciting, right? All right. So let's see. Now I'm really curious what our spirit wants us to do. As right, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you will be willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. That means this week especially you are open to uh, more, more therapeutic care. You're open to different therapies that are going to actually help you. Um, this is saying that your heart is ready. It's ready. Things have happened in the past. They don't exist anymore. You're starting to realize that you're starting to see that your vibration is raising higher, especially this week. This is going to um, have some deep emotional healing for you coming to you this week. Your heart is going to be doing some healing. I'm so, so excited for you. And I feel that when you do these two cards for your body and your mind and find your spiritual community to connect to, you're also going to be helping yourself with your spirit because your spirit is saying it's time. It's time to heal those old wounds because they don't exist anymore. We don't need to carry them. They're too heavy. We don't want to carry them on our shoulders anymore. Um, and the people that were in our past that hurt us don't deserve that power in our life now. We want to be free. Yes, freedom. So this is your card of freedom for your spirit. Your spirit is longing, it's desiring. It just really wants freedom. And this is your card for that. So this week specifically, excuse me, this week specifically, it's asking you to be open to healing. It's time for your heart to heal, to let go of that old stuff. And Make sure you're devoting some time for yourself for this healing. Maybe you get a new therapist. Maybe you take a class on it. You know, when I'm going through something, if I'm going through something challenging, whatever it may be, body, mind, spirit, and I'm not understanding it, and maybe I'm having a challenging time finding a therapy that fits for me, I study it. I actually go back to school for it. I take courses online for it to understand it. And that really helps me and it empowers me and it gets me in the space that I need to be to continue my healing. And I've noticed when I do that, when I take the action step first, when I'm like, okay, I'm going to help myself in this moment with whether watching YouTube videos about the subject that I'm interested in or uh, interested in, or I'm having a challenging time with, or maybe I find a, um, a mini course online for that, or um, I am pulling my own Oracle cards for myself, whatever thing that I do, whatever action step that I take to help myself that opens the door to find the right therapies. That opens the door to draw in those people and situations that I need to help myself heal. So this is saying it's time. It, your heart is ready to heal. So make some time for it this week, whatever that looks like. And if you're looking for a new therapist, get a new therapist. If you uh, want to spend some time outside and you think that's going to help you, then do that. Um, if you want to just sit in silence all day, do that. I've done that. Um, if you want to listen to music as your therapy and just let yourself go, do that. Do whatever your heart wants you to do because that's how you're going to heal it. Your heart is speaking to you. It's time to listen. All right. So I hope this serves you well. Let's put our hands on our heart space. Actually, let's put our hand on our head in our heart space and let's drop our minds into our heart space and just take a deep breath. Release. Take another one. And many blessings of love and peace and joy to you. And have a fabulous.
fabulous week. Your body, your mind, and your spirit is going to thank you. Much love to you. Namaste.